Hey everybody, it's Greggy Soriano and welcome to a special episode of Greggy's Digest. I'm about to go to West Covina, California and what better place to go for some yummy Asian food other than really yummy Korean food. I mean, you gotta have the three K's. K-pop, kimchi fries, and um... The Kardashians? No! K-pop kimchi fries and Korean barbecue! Let's grab some grub right here at Galby Grill. Come on, let's go! Hey there, it's Greggy. I just had frickety frickin' amazing Korean barbecue. A-Y-C-E, all you can eat. I've had some pretty darn good Korean barbecue before in New York and LA, and this place, for me, definitely takes the cake. Whether you're in Rosemead, Arcadia, Pasadena, West Covina, anywhere in the San Gabriel Valley, you know you are in the hub for really good Asian American food. Right when I walked into Galby Grill, I was greeted by darn good looking Mater D's. I walked by a smorgasbord of banchan. That comes with the AYCE KBBQ. This banchan bar is like nothing else I've ever seen. They had spicy tuna rolls, and guess what? They had kimchi fries. They're ooey gooey filled with tons of cheese on top and the kimchi isn't too pickly. It was just the perfect balance of salty and sour crispiness from the potatoes, sharpness from the cheese. So frickety frickin good. Right when I got to my table, girl, I needed a cocktail. The first thing that I ordered was a honeydew melon soju. People are all about fruit infused drinks these days. Fruit infused water, fruit infused vodka, refreshing and delicious and clean and smooth. With this soju, I wanted to get everybody up on their feet going, shot, 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 everybody, soju. There were tons of different interesting things that I could barbecue right in front of my face. The first thing that I ordered was the bulgogi. You can't go wrong with bulgogi. Sometimes they use pear or apple to sweeten the marinade. I could have bulgogi on everything. In a burrito, in a taco, everywhere. I could seriously lay down on a bed of bulgogi. Mama. Another thing that I had was the red wine pork belly. I just thought it was so interesting that they used an ingredient like red wine for their marinade in a Korean barbecue restaurant. And I got the romaine lettuce that they have and it was like the perfect bed for the sesame beef or the bulgogi. Put some daikon radish on top, rolled it right up, put it on one hand, roll another one up, put another one in one hand, and just go at it. It was like, oh. Another dish that I ordered were the short ribs. I got my hands in there and I was mm, eating that bone. The marinade is, I don't know what they put in it, but it is like, uh-uh, it is addicting. At this point, I was so happy with all this yummy barbecue in my tummy that I just wanted to give Brian, the biggest hug ever. He busts out this menu and he goes, would you like anything from the bar menu? And I was like, hoda, hoda. The first thing that I ordered were the goji soft tacos. He gave me chicken, beef, and pork. Hello. These tacos were good. I mean, if the barbecue's good, these tacos are good. Everyone talking about the G-Money rolls, so this G-Money had to try these G-Money rolls. Philly cheesesteak stuffed inside of a lumpia, basically. And they were like honkers. It was cheesy, ooey, gooey. There was caramelized onion in there, so it was a little bit of sweetness and saltiness from the barbecue. And it was deep fried. Forget about it. The last and final thing that I ordered was the Galby Grill Crazy Flatbread. They have a friggity friggin' brick oven in the kitchen. It was like non, taking a gazillion levels up. I thought I was done so, but seriously, the waiter goes, you wanna make a s'more? What? Yes I do!
I had a tear like going like coming down. You just gave me a s'more in a Korean barbecue restaurant. I'm just so excited and I'm so happy. Whew, child. I think the atmosphere was great. The employees are amazing. They're so sweet and very attentive. The food was really good. I really wish this business so much success in the future. They are off to an amazing start. I think the concept is brilliant. Reggie's Digest gives this place, oh my gosh, let's see. Uh, I'm giving it four and a half G's out of five. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Greggy's Digest. I'll talk to you later. Bye! Click on the cute little bumblebee to subscribe. Click on the video to view my last episode on the right. And visit my website at www.greggysoriano.com. Oh, and follow me on social media in the description links down below. Thanks!